lovers, I hope you are well. Today I will be sharing five different cozy and fall inspired autumn drinks to just enjoy all season long or even all year long. I will probably be making my maple sea salt cold brew all year long because it is just that good and last year I actually filmed a video similar to this one but there were five cozy coffee recipes for the season but this year I wanted to do things a little different and provide some ideas for my tea loving friends and if you don't love tea or coffee we have a homemade apple cider recipe for you so I really hope you enjoy it and let's get into the first recipe First step, we have pumpkin hot chocolate, and wow, this is so delicious. I don't know why I haven't been making this my whole life because it is just so decadent and perfect for the season. I am a total chocolate lover, so this is right up my alley. And if you're a coffee lover as well, this would be really fun to add a shot of espresso or some coffee, and you can make a pumpkin mocha. So first things first, you are going to take one fourth a cup of milk, and this is for one serving, but don't worry, I will have all the measurements and recipes in the description below so you can easily find the exact measurements and steps in a written form. So after you add your milk, you're also going to add two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and this just really makes it so creamy and decadent. Next, you're gonna add two tablespoons of chocolate chips and the recipe I followed actually called for milk chocolate, but I prefer dark chocolate, so that's what I did and you can do whatever you prefer. And then you're gonna add half a teaspoon of cacao powder. And once you have your milk and chocolate and cacao, you are going to just mix that together and heat it up on the stove top. If you have it on medium heat, it usually takes three to five minutes to melt. So you just kind of wait for that. And in the meantime, I made some pumpkin whipped cream. So I just added some heavy whipping cream and some pumpkin puree. I also added some cinnamon and nutmeg. And then I just took my handheld frother to thicken it up a bit. Once your chocolate is melted, you can add in your pumpkin pie puree right on the stove top and stir it in. And then you're also gonna wanna sprinkle in your pumpkin pie spice. And if you don't have pumpkin pie spice, you can always just take some cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice and just use those as a substitute. And once everything is nice and warm and mixed together, all you have to do now is pour it in your favorite mug and then top it with your pumpkin whipped cream. It truly is so delicious and I cannot wait to make it next. we have the maple sea salt cold brew and I actually made a hot version of this one last year in my five autumn inspired coffee video so if you want to see a hot version you can go watch that but we are just using the maple as our autumn inspiration and maple and sea salt is truly one of my favorite flavor combos so to make your maple sea salt sweet cream you're gonna take heavy whipping cream once again and of course you can always substitute with non-dairy substitutes but of course I find that the heavy whipping cream just really creates that creamy thick texture that is just so delicious and you can really tweak this to how sweet and salty you prefer but I just like to add a little bit of maple syrup and then a few pinches of salt and then I add a bit more into my cold brew so I just took some crushed ice and then poured a spidge more of maple syrup and then I just added my cold brew over the ice and I'm just using this stock cold brew, which I bought at the store, but it's also fun to make your cold brew as well. And to top it off, you just add your sweet cream, and I like to add another little drizzle of maple syrup just so the flavor really comes through, and then a little bit more sea salt. I absolutely love watching the cream just soak down to the bottom. It's so satisfying. This 
this recipe is truly the epitome of cozy. So we have the pumpkin chai tea latte. And if you're really not a fan of tea, you can actually just make this with your favorite kind of milk or non-dairy option, which sometimes I do when I don't feel like having any caffeine. It's just a super cozy drink and it honestly just feels like a warm hug. So first you're going to add your milk to a saucepan and just warm that up for a bit. And once it's a bit warm, you're going to add your tea packet if you wish and just let that steep for a little bit. I let mine steep for about five minutes and then I added in some pumpkin. So the recipe that I'll link in the description doesn't have pumpkin, but it's really simple. You just add a tablespoon of your pumpkin puree and just mix it all together. I like to use a whisk for this part just so that the pumpkin can really kind of break up and blend in nicely. You're gonna add your cinnamon and your ground cloves. And then I like to add some fresh ginger root. I feel like fresh ginger is just a staple in the autumn season because it just tastes so nice in teas, but also soups and other fun cozy recipes like that. It's also super healthy, so that's a plus. And for our next recipe, we're also gonna use some fresh ginger. And lastly, you can sweeten it up with your sweetener of choice, but I personally love to just add some maple syrup because one, it is nice and festive for the autumn season, and two, it's simply delicious. Next up, we have our pumpkin cream cold brew, and this one is just a crowd favorite. It's inspired by the Starbucks recipe that's so, so popular, and truly is so simple to make at home, so it's great if you wanna save a little money or you don't feel like going to Starbucks, so all you have to do is take some heavy whipping cream, some pumpkin puree, once again. You can always add more, but I'll put the measurements I typically use in the description, and I kinda just mix it up with a spoon because my handheld froth gets a little overwhelmed if I don't because the puree is quite thick and then I add a splash of vanilla syrup to sweeten it up my other secret ingredient that Starbucks doesn't use is some turmeric because I just love to get that orange color and you really don't taste the turmeric if you add it just a little bit so I like to add that in just for some natural color and then I just poured in some homemade cold brew over ice and then you just add in your cream on top and for this one I added so much cream usually I like to have at least double the amount of cold brew than cream but for the sake of this video I wanted the cream to to be just the star of the show because it is pumpkin and festive and just so yummy and that's what's really special about this recipe and to add even more fall flair you can sprinkle the top with some pumpkin pie spice Our spiced apple cider and this one is for all my overachievers because we are making apple cider from scratch so I think the key is to have a variety of different apples so you have that complex and dimensional apple flavor so the first step is to just wash and cut your produce we're also gonna use an orange for that citrusy flavor as well and again I'll have this recipe linked below I made a smaller batch, but I did add a little bit too much water. So just keep that in mind and follow the directions exactly for the recipe. So you don't add too much water. I was just a little overzealous, but it was still so yummy. And we're gonna add in our cozy spices. So we have cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon. I also used cinnamon sticks as well because I feel like you just need to for apple cider. You just gotta have that classic cinnamon stick and I love 
the apple and cinnamon flavor combo. So the more cinnamon, the better in my book. And I also added some of that fresh ground ginger as promised. And you really just need to let this simmer on the stove for hours. So I just had time to do two hours, but you could even do more and you can cook this in the crock pot or Instapot as well. So there's lots of different ways you can make this happen, but I think making homemade apple cider will definitely be a new autumn tradition in our family. Once your cider is done simmering, all you have to do is pour it into your favorite cozy mug or you could even chill it if you prefer your apple cider cold. And if you want your apple cider to be a little bit more sweet, you can also sweeten it with some maple syrup or some sugar. And that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and the recipes and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your autumn season. I'll see you soon.